Hi, this is Lucky Robin, and tonight for dinner I am cooking from my food storage. Have a quart jar of canned carrots, quart jar of canned potatoes, quart jar of canned beef, and a pint jar of parsnips. And about a cup of flour and a couple of cups of water. And I'm making a stew. Alright, this is fairly simple to put together. Um, basically get all your lids off and inspect everything. Make sure all of your jars, all the food in your jars smells good still. That uh, you didn't have a seal failure or anything like that. That you don't have mold or anything. Um, just make sure everything looks good and smells good. And you know, you, you very seldom are you going to have an issue with your home can stuff, but you could. It can happen. So um, you know, always double check. Now, I drain the meat juice out of the meat first and into the crock pot. And I get all the little chunks of fat down out of it. And then I drain the water off the potatoes. Now I do not put the carrot water or the parsnip water into the stew. It's too sweet. It will make the stew exceedingly sweet. And I like my stew to taste savory. So I just don't do that at all. I will add extra water instead, or if I have beef broth, which I don't right now, I will add that. But mix the the beef juice and the uh, potato water together, and then start adding some flour in. Whisk it in. I don't know, I usually use about a half cup flour on this. And I will add some water, um, anywhere from a cup to two cups. It really depends on how much meat juice and potato water there was. Um, you don't want to add too much or you're going to end up soupy. Uh, Basically, we're just reheating this in the crock pot. We're not um, cooking it for a long amount of time, just about an hour. So while the flour will thicken, it won't thicken like it would if you're leaving it in for like four hours or eight hours. And uh, it won't thicken like uh, it would in a skillet, exactly. Now, I don't add any salt to this because there was salt in every canning jar from the canning process. So I just put in pepper and I add about 20 grinds of pepper. And I know that seems like a lot, but it's really not. And once it's dispersed through the whole entire stew, um, yeah, it won't seem like that much at all, but it gives it a nice, nice flavor. And then after that gets pretty smoothed out, then I'll start adding the uh, rest of the ingredients. And it doesn't matter what order you put them in. Um, I, I kind of like to put the, the beef in the middle just because it's easier to mix it together. 
you don't end up with all the beef on the top or all the beef on the bottom. You could do this just as easily on the stove but you kind of have to babysit it and you'd, you'd make your gravy first and you'd, you'd actually let it thicken up and then you would dump everything in and add your pepper and then it would take probably about oh 20 minutes or so of constant babysitting and i just don't want to do the babysitting today that's why i'm putting it in the crock pot instead So this will just go into the crock pot for an hour on high and then it'll be done. Okay, put it on to high, set it for an hour and we're good to go. I will come back when this is finished. Hey, okay, there's the end result. A delicious, easy, simple dinner from food storage.